Hi, my name is Shane Reed and I want to share with you some tips on how to take a successful deposition. But before I do, I want to tell you just a little bit about myself because there's a lot of bad advice out there. First, I've written a best-selling textbook, Winning at Trial, which is used by law schools and lawyers throughout the country. Winning at Trial won the Association of Continuing Legal Education's top honor for professional excellence. I've also written a new book, Winning at Deposition. Currently, I teach trial advocacy at SMU School of Law in Dallas, Texas. I graduated from the University of Texas School of Law, and I went to Yale in college. Now that you've heard a little bit about me, let's get to the first tip. Before you take your first deposition, you must determine what your theory of the case is. And that's something that most lawyers never do. How do you determine your theory? You must ask yourself, what will a jury conclude at trial after applying the law and listening to the good and bad facts of your case? It's that simple, but it's often never done. So let's look at a quick example of how to build your theory from the Casey Anthony trial. And although that's a criminal case, it's perfect for our purposes here. The defense in the Casey Anthony trial had to choose between alibi insanity. Someone else did it and no motive. Remember they had to choose a theory that the jury would believe after hearing all the evidence. And out of these choices they chose this one. If the defense had not admitted that Casey acted very poorly and lied to everyone, they would have lost their credibility with the jury. And by admitting these things the defense was then able to show that the government had a very circumstantial case and couldn't prove the murder. Not only must you determine your theory, but you need to uncover your opponent's theory. You don't want to be sitting in a deposition and hear for the first time from the opposing lawyer what his case is all about. If that happens, you failed your witness and you failed your case. So to uncover your opponent's theory, you need to look at your case with a critical eye. Interview your witnesses, scour the documents, and be looking for all the weaknesses in your case. And by identifying the weaknesses, you'll be able to make your case stronger by asking the opposing witnesses the right questions and preparing your witnesses for the questions they'll most certainly be asked. Finally, let's look at the mindset you should have at a deposition. 99% of the attorneys have the wrong mindset. They're either too judgmental or they're overly friendly with the witness. If you're too judgmental, there's no way that witness is going to feel comfortable giving you information about the case. Likewise, if you're overly friendly and try and buddy up the wit with the witness, they're going to think that they can manipulate you and they won't give you the truth. So instead of being too judgmental or overly friendly, you should show the witness genuine respect. Show interest in what they have to say even if you disagree at your core with what they're telling you. Only by showing a genuine, genuine interest can you get the witness to open up and start talking to you. So now that you have the right attitude, let's look at how to ask the questions. And this chart here shows the types of questions you might ask a plaintiff who claims that he's been discriminated against at work. Those questions are who, what, when, why, how, describe, and two great ones are please explain and anything else. If your questions begin with these words, I guarantee that you will get the witness to open up and start talking to you. In this short video, I can't share with you all the tips to make for a successful deposition, and that's why I wrote a book. I firmly believe that the only way to get better is to study actual transcripts that are contained in my book and to watch videos of actual depositions that are analyzed and shown on the book's companion website. My book has everything you need to succeed. It explains the ins and outs of depositions for beginners and experienced lawyers. There's innovative advice on witness preparation. It explains why so much of the conventional wisdom is completely flat out wrong. There's an entire chapter on how to take the deposition of an expert witness. And it shows you the secrets 
that are guaranteed to succeed against argumentative lawyers and lying witnesses every time. So if you're interested and want to learn more, go to my website, winningatdeposition.com, look at sample chapters of the book, and you can also order it there if you want.